One thing Dan Becher once said to me was, if you use photography, you should always reflect the media. And if the image um, and this reflection should be represented in, in the photograph. When I then continued working at the Art Academy, I had the idea of taking photographs of my friends and colleagues there. And I also, yes, I wanted to do that in a very or quite objective and sachlich uh, style. Yeah, I wanted to make 100 portraits to show to some aliens how humankind looks like. <laughs> but people were pointing to the portrait and say, saying, oh, that's, that's a nice photo of Petra. That's a nice, uh, oh, that's Heinz. That's Peter. And I always had to tell them, no, that's not Heinz, that's not Peter, that's not uh, Pia, that's a photograph of them. So I had to realize that people look through the photograph and they did not get that they are looking at a photograph, but they ignore the medium, thinking they are looking uh, into reality. And it's not exactly because of this, but um, in 1986 I decided to do the portraits in a very big size, the biggest size that was available from um, yeah, the Kodak paper, which is one meter eighty, and that helped, really helped a lot, because now people did not, no more said, oh, that's Petra, they said, oh, this is a big photograph of Petra. <laughs> so it was the first time they realized that they are looking at a photograph. I think even the most objective photo photograph is subject photography. And I was a bit bored of uh, art photography, and I was thinking of what, what is the most objective photogra photography, what could that be? And I, I was always very interested in scientific or, or medical photographs, and <coughs> I then thought the most objective photography must be stock photography, because here, me as an author, I cannot manipulate anything, because those things are so far away, I cannot arrange them. I can only record, record them. But at the same time, I had to realize that even though I'm professionally educated and I had a, a quite professional equipment, I wasn't able to take these photographs with all the light and uh, air pollution, this wouldn't work, would be very, very bad quality. So, in, with the star photographs, it was the first time that I had to say, uh, or give up authorship. And I had to give it up because I just wasn't able to, yeah, take the photograph by myself.